morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog. It is Tuesday morning today. I am in the car as you can tell and I've got my hair up which means my hair is filthy and I'm about to go get it done. I this morning already you saw I was out for my walk, came back, did my exercise, had my coffee, had a meeting, took care of the little man for a while and I've gone and done a little bit of shopping just a couple of like we needed water and Vincent needed soy milk and now I am headed to have my hair done I'm gonna drop the car over to actually get it valeted or valeted while I'm here <laughs> this place I go to House of Colour in Clare Hall and while I'm there I try and get the car done because it's about 35 euro and they clean the outside and inside of the car and it smells like brand new every single time and with a tiny human who likes to eat in the car slash throw food around the car it's got it's a bit minging it's a bit minging and his car seat isn't in here for the first time in a long time so I'm taking this opportunity to get the car done uh, and then I'm going up to Georgina now a lot of you have asked me about my hair color my hair cut all the different details of it my intention is to if Georgina doesn't mind being filmed I'm not sure if she will but if she doesn't mind being filmed then I will get her to talk through what we do uh, if she does if not then I will get her to talk through it with me and that I will uh, put I'll film it uh, afterwards so that is the plan for the morning I have one errand to run afterwards and then I'm going home to do tax for the rest of the day so it's going to be a joyful day I have a couple of bits of the the uh, current body stuff that I shared with you that I opened that I want to try tonight so I've noticed that my jaw I forgot to put my my night guard in once this week and my jaw is it's it's sore so I'm actually gonna see if that's gonna like do anything for it uh, in terms of the facial toner and see how that works and that's pretty much it that is the plan for today so I thought I'd take you along first drop off the car and now over to the guys behind me who hopefully will valet it or valet it and then I'm going over to above ground to get coffee and then we're gonna get this hair sorted because I can see greys and we don't have time for greys. We don't we don't do greys here. We know no like we're we're not we're not doing greys yet. There's nothing wrong with grey hair. I'm just not ready for it yet. No, definitely not. No. Okay. Coffee has been secured. Car is being valeted, valeted, whatever the hell you say. Now into get the herded. All by 10 a.m. I was like this yesterday. I was just like by 10 a.m. I had so many errands run. I'm just yeah, and the sunshine. Can we with the sunshine? Honestly, this coffee is above ground coffee. It's one of the best. Might it be the best? It might be the best. Mm. Damn, it's good. Right, okay, let's get the herded. Well, I'm just gonna fix this up. You're gorgeous. I don't even think I don't be here yet. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So this is my hairdresser Georgina Hi. and I live to So we are gonna we're gonna chat through what we're gonna do now and then uh what to cost yeah. So can I take this down? Yeah, of course. Um sorry, it's a state. Oh not to worry. Uh, I haven't washed it. We'll brush it all back up. Thanks so like that lengthwise it is actually had to come down again. Isn't it? Yeah, it like, is like because we did do a good on it and yeah. as well as with the layers that would just took away from the weight in your hair and it still looks pretty. I think like it's what I needed so badly because the weight was just having such an effect on my face yeah. it was like hanging my face but down you can still see the volume wise that you still have yeah. in your hair yeah. especially with the bangs just taking that part of like that weight out of yeah. and I'll soften into your bangs as well if you want yeah. as well so colour wise it would be basically would be one shade away from black say so it would be like the medium brown and then obviously you go the colour wheel but it wouldn't be as dark as black it would be a shade away from black okay and then it's a uh, semi as opposed it's to a it's a semi permed yes yeah. semi permed colour basically because you don't need heavy coverage because you don't have 100% grey so it would be silly to do a permed colour on your hair because you don't need that intensity on your roots okay. so the semi permed colour gives you enough coverage that you need but it just washes up it doesn't grow out like so you don't have a visible so you get a straight line yeah, like, you don't okay, get a visible regrowth yeah. and then basically um, bringing it through then because it's a semi permed colour that would be really glossy and shiny and good for okay. your hair okay you know and then the, it's weller 
It's well, yes, well, well a professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah so well, a professional. Anyone wanted, like, if anyone was near like a house of color, yeah. they could go in and ask yeah, for a similar yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Once like, you get your skin tests and all done, and obviously they can have fresh consultations with any of the stylists, and um, they go through and advise what yeah. they would recommend for their hair in terms of like regrowth wise, because everybody might not have the same regrowth as yourself, yeah. face wise. Do you know that way? Yeah. And um, but going off color wise, it would be uh, well a professional because that's the one that we use. Okay, perfect. So Great. Right. And then. We're doing a uh, Wellaplex in it as well. We're doing a Wellaplex treatment free as well yeah. today. So the Wellaplex uh, is a two part treatment. So the first part goes in with your colour and the second part is a mask. And that kind of rebuilds your hair from the inside out because it's a bomb builder. Um, it's great if you do have any dryness in your hair because it just really hydrates. But it's more of like a strengthening treatment as opposed to other treatments. So like that, if it is that your hair feels brittle in any way, it kind of just builds it back up. I think that's why my hair has been feeling yeah, so Yeah, it is, good. yeah, because that's what that treatment is. Like, yeah. We have got other treatments that we have here that are just for moisture and just yeah. for, you know, adding a bit of hydration to your hair. But with the Wellplex, because it's that little bit more intensity, it is, it builds your hair up from the inside out. Bond wise, like, do you know yeah, what I mean? And yeah. even though you are not blonde, it doesn't matter. It's still like you still have that dryness in your from like the weather and yeah. using, I know you don't use hot tools on it, um, but just in general, overall, um, protecting the bonds in your hair is amazing for that. Yeah, that's, I honestly feel that that's like, it's bringing your hair back that, to life. Yeah, yeah it course, is like, yeah. obviously, and not using the heat and having like, you know, like, yeah, and keeping it. That's the best recipe for your hair yeah. because obviously it's walking for you. Yeah. Do you know that? So I had the wet effect treatment in now. So the first part came in with my um, with the dye and now this bit and it's just added it for me. Uh, in and it sits for 10 minutes. Like blue tone and I love it. Fabulous. I am currently having a uh, my lunch at two o'clock. Um, but I have so much that I need to get done so I am sitting down at my desk. I'm going to watch a show while I eat and then I'm going to just start working. Okay. Um, this is my salad that I'm having. It's basically like a carpaccio of asparagus because i like that kind of bresaola but obviously i don't eat meat and i have two slices of vegan bacon because mm, vegan bacon is life okay I'm ready. eat this watch my thing get some stuff done tuesday's outfit of the day it is a little bit later i'm not gonna lie it's quite blue we have a cat everything's a bit up in the air but that's okay Right, so today I am wearing this crop top that I got on sale in uh, Zara a long time ago. Uh, it's got this beautiful draping here. I'm going to turn it around this way so maybe you can see me a bit better. You see this gorgeous draping? My earrings are Doyle Design gifted. All of my rings are Doyle Design as per usual. I'll leave links to what I can in the description box. Then I have my strat. Uh, no, these are actually Bershka. Um, trousers they are like low waist and then because they have this like deadly turn down bit on them which I love but because I don't want my loose skin showing I wear a pair of leggings underneath them which is also helpful for warmth because it's like 10 degrees today uh, which is not so bad but it was like four degrees when I got dressed so um, and then my shoes are my Buffalo vegan chais, which are just so comfortable. If you are between sizes, I would recommend sizing down with Buffalo chais. They are a little bit big on me, but they're pretty good. I have an insole in them. They work really well. So that's, oh, and my sunglasses are my Key Australia. I can't remember which model they are. I, they're not on sale anymore. This one, I got these like last, they were like the last ones available, but if I can find alternatives, I will leave them down. Oh, they're after hours. Is that what they're called? After hours rhinestone. So you might find them secondhand somewhere, but I, they have other um, after hours ones available. So that is Tuesday's outfit. It is 
six o'clock and I am tired, I am hungry, I am done working, I am finished working. I have not done anything that I wanted to do today. I had a total day of overwhelm and exhaustion. So I'm going to treat myself now to take my makeup off and try to get into bed in the next two hours. That is my plan. Tomorrow I'm in town, I'm going to have my nails done and I am going to get some work done out of the house. Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. It's the first day of body slims today for a lot of people as well. So if you're a body slimmer, I hope you are doing okay on your first week. Probably by the time you watch this, it'll be your third or fourth week. But anyway, I am on my way now into town for the day. I have to say I'm feeling really good about the way I look today. Is my face focused? Who knows? I really like my makeup. I'm doing that pinky look I did in my last vlog when I have a reel about it, which I'll link here or a short. But I'm going in, I'm uh, gonna do some work, getting my nails done. I have a couple of bits that I need to get done. And then my mom is coming in to meet me with Brannock, which will be nice. So I'll get to go home with them. Maybe have some lunch, probably have a sprout, let's face it. But I'll bring you with me to show you what I get. My nails, I actually don't know what I'm gonna get today. I have these ones on, like kind of like a superhero look, but I love them and they actually don't need to come off. But I have a standing appointment every three weeks with my nail tech, uh, Nicole, because she books up months in advance. Uh, so I have three weeks, every three weeks booked for the next year, basically. So uh, yeah. anyway, right, I'm legging it towards the train. My arm hurts from holding this up, but I will chat to you guys in a bit. Oh, it's fresh but it's starting to feel like spring. I don't have a hat, I don't have a scarf on, just a coat and my denim dress, so, which is all over the show, and the covered in cat hair because, ah, uh, yeah, cats. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi, I didn't, uh, I'm in town, obviously. I was just went and got coffee and I was doing my morning pages. I didn't film it because you guys have seen me do that a thousand times now. But I'm just walking to my appointment and a lovely, uh, oh, what's this place? Grow. Wine music food. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, um, I once upon a time, no, what was I saying? I uh, met a follower. A lovely follower came up to me, Claire, hi, if you're watching. She said she had just seen my, was watching my YouTube yesterday and saw me then and she came up and said hello. And she paid me probably the nicest compliment I've ever been paid uh, by somebody about my looks and she said I look like a 90s supermodel and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it's really the nicest thing anyone said to me. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's like, that's been my aesthetic look that I've always wanted to achieve, so. Uh, to hear that is lovely, so thank you Claire. Right, in to get my nails did. Happy Thursday. I left you yesterday. I was in town. I ended up going in to see my sister and then when I left my sister uh, or when my mum ended up coming in with Brannock and it was just yeah when the kids arrive in it becomes a bit of a shambles basically so I just wasn't able to pick up the camera for the rest of it. Basically it went home uh, by the time I walked home from the train station with Brannock it was like after five time for dinner and then that was it basically that was our whole day yesterday 
um, but it was nice to be picked up by my my mini man. Um, from town, I was having struggles, serious struggles, trying to find somewhere. Look at this hair. Trying to find struggles, trying to get internet somewhere. Uh, unless you're going into a co-working space, I have a couple of hotels that I go to, but they just weren't exactly where I needed to be, and. As a result, I ended up going to somewhere that said it was big into co-working and when I went, they had no uh, internet. So I was like, well, that's just great. So I went to my sister uh, in her jewellery studio and used her internet there. Um, but of course, we ended up talking more than we did anything else. And so it is Thursday morning today. I am about to try out, I've noticed that my jaw, I wear a night guard for my jaw. I've noticed that my face is feeling a bit tight. Um, my skin is looking pretty good. This is after using, this is like my skin booster. Um, I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation here. I might try and have that sorted, but I'm like really liking my cheeks at the moment. Um, the Botox that I had done, you can see here, like it's pretty much taken, uh, taken action. That's the word I'm looking for. And so I thought I would give this morning, just give a go to this petite facial toner, which I opened with you a couple of weeks ago. This is from New Face and this is what it looks like. And I tried to do this the other morning and then I realized you need to charge her for eight hours. Um, so I did not. Uh, so this is three steps. Cleanse the skin. Use the microcurrent activator. Um... Begin gliding the device until you hear a beep. Apply eye cream, moisturizer, and SPF. Okay, three simple steps. So travel friendly, new face mini uh, gently stimulates the large surface area of your face and neck with FDA cleared microcurrent technology to help improve facial tone and contour while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Besides its cute and compact figure, Mini's great strengths lie in a straightforward, simple design that allows you in for an effortless five minute professional grade treatment anytime, anywhere. Great, so I'm gonna give this a go now. I need to take a couple of photographs. I want to see, it says to take like before and after. So you smooth the aqua gel onto clean skin in any direction. So you smooth your aqua gel onto clean skin in any section before using the new face microcurrent device maybe uh, used alone to cushion the skin with lightweight hydration. The box. Oh, it's one of these pumpy ones, I love these. So place spheres above the brow and glide up until you hear a beep. Complete one to three sequence, one, two, three sequence, three times. So I would say it's ever so slightly feels like it's slightly hot. So it says for the first 60 days recommend using it five times a week even for just five minutes a day. So that is first round. I actually feel like it's quite nice on my jaw. So obviously I'm like a little bit red now, but that is just, I think that's, yeah, it seems pretty easy. Like obviously I don't feel any benefits straight away, but yeah, I'll let you know in 60 days how I get on using it five times a week. Hopefully, I don't know how much this will last, but we shall see. Oh, it's got hyaluronic acid. Cool. Okay, so I am gonna go do my skincare now, my proper, like the rest of my skincare. And then I, do you want me to bring makeup? Actually, I'll show you my morning skincare now. And then I am going to get my makeup done and I today I am headed out to see a dermatologist. So I have, I can't remember the type of psoriasis that I have. I never remember the type. I have two types of psoriasis basically. Um, we're gonna do a very sexy angle here. Hello up the schnoz angle. Isn't that lovely? Uh, I have two types of psoriasis and the one that's on my arms is really, really intense. Um, and if I don't use my steroids for one day, 
then I'm like not screwed but like it comes back uh, and that's just not really sustainable for me so I'm going to see a dermatologist who I have seen a few times um, to see if there's something we can do if we can do a different type of treatment uh, a different type of therapy or what uh, hopefully I'm thinking the only thing we haven't tried is light therapy I've never tried light therapy so I'd be interested in trying it and I actually I have that current body uh, mask that they sent me as well and I really want to try that and see if on my face it's a red light so the first thing I do so normally I would do this before hyaluronic acid but because I was using that and um, the new face mini I didn't but I'm using my Oskia Super C smart nutrient beauty capsules which have vitamin c in them and typically i like to let them set in for a few minutes but we are a bit short on time now so that's on my face so it's like a little oil it's not oily and if you are an oilier person don't stress about it it will like it's putting oil on your skin doesn't make you oily the vitamin C can break you out um, just an FYI I'm gonna use my Alave my Alave uh, eye rescue serum this stuff is just it's amazing I would describe it as like lip balm for your eyes which I know is a bit weird but and then I'm going to put the rest on my after lines under my eyes etc uh, and then I'm going in with some hyaluronic acid uh, this is an ordinary hyaluronic acid B2 and 5 anything that basically is moisturizing or has acid um, hyaluronic in it I am obsessed with bringing that down my neck kind of patting that in Oh, I should have done this first, but I'm going to use my Yonka uh, Lotion Yonka Invigorating Mist for dehydrated skin and let that kind of do its thing. And next I need a moisturizer and I'm lacking in moisturizers at the moment. Um, I have this Body Shop one. Actually, I'm going to use this today. This is a aloe soothing one. It's got SPF 15 in it, uh, but I need to get myself. I mean, I actually think I have a moisturizer in my beauty closet. I love moisturizers. I love anything that's like moisture. Like it says moisturizing on it. That's what I want. It's just the dry skin thing. And that's basically it. That's my skincare in the morning. It takes me a minute. Oh, I did have this one. The Pestle and Mortar Hydrate. This is an Irish company. I quite like this. Um, Hydrate Lightweight Moisturizer. It's pretty nice quite like it and I just have a beauty sponge that I'm wetting now before I go and do my makeup so I'm leaving here shortly and then I am going to the dermatologist and then I have to return some of the stuff that I tried on with me in the last vlog I think it was this vlog I can't remember the vlog section uh, the stuff from Stradivarius and returning those trousers and that belt I just don't think it's like even though it was only a tenner I don't think it's worth it and then I'm not so sure on that long line leather jacket. They have a, one in Stradivarius, which is 15 euro cheaper than the one in Zara. So I'm going to go try that one on, see how, what I feel about that. And I might return the Zara one today as well. I am, but I can come out now one second. Hey everybody, it's Sunday today. It is bank holiday Sunday and we are off. Yeah, we're going on a little trip. We decided, uh, I know that I've been kind of MIA, like I took a big break you know, I don't remember what day I last vlogged. No, I don't remember. But I, we're going to Greystones today. We're going to the happy pair for a change. Uh, we had a lovely day yesterday. We did a lot of things in the house, which was fantastic. I have filmed a video this morning. I'm going to edit it on the way to Greystones. Yeah. I am going to edit it. Yeah, is that the ring light? It's very bright, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna edit on the way to Great Ones. It's for tomorrow's video, so bank holiday Monday because tomorrow we are going to spend the day with friends. It's uh, one of our best friends' 40th birthday is tomorrow, so. But I just wanted to come on and show you because yesterday we did a lot of things in the house and my office is starting to take shape. Isn't it? Do you wanna sit down on the swingy chair? Oh, will you sit? Oh, standing is a bad idea. So I've got a new rug which I got from JISC. 
please don't touch it buddy good boy and then a couple of new things so i have my mirror here which needs to be cleaned obviously got a little plant stand i need to change this plant pot but i'm liking the way it looks i know it doesn't look like much has changed but also all the boxes that were in the corner they're gone so there's a lot of space i'm ordering today a new desk which is going to swap for that one and then i'm going to order a new set of drawers here because i want something a bit bigger to fit more stuff in basically um and then this is going this chair uh, this sofa is going it's going to be swapped i got a couple of new art pieces which i'm going to be hanging up between here and here and then i'm going to over beside the window there uh, i'm going to be doing another couple of bits of art so maybe like office stuff actually like my pin board and things like that and it might go there so yeah, I know. I'm really happy with it. It's looking, it's looking good. It's looking kind of cool, and I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with my rug. Until you need an Irish woman. Are you speaking French to Brad? Yes. You can, you've got to be better to try. Please. Yeah. 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 So I'm just here in the happy pair with David, one Good of afternoon. the one of welcome. the happy pair. Welcome, welcome. I just got to meet Brannock. Yeah, the legend <laughs> that is Brannock. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. Brannock. Yeah. 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 Thanks, black David. Tea. Cheers. Cheers. Thank slow. you. These are so cool. I'm just five of them. Uh, uh, it only costs a thousand euro. Three. So yeah, six hundred euro. We really like these willows. I just thought they'd be nice. We're in the arboretum. Where are we? Lika? Are you trying to take your salad pet off? It's so beautiful. And look at this. How much is that? No, no, no. You okay? Well, it's, you know. <laughs> what? What'd you say? I think they're nice three. Can you get oh, no, much just food with it to get it So yeah, and how will we get it into our place? Yeah. By train. By train. Yeah. Wanna go for a walk around Brannock? No? You gorgeous creature. We need to get your hat. We're back home now and seeing as this was a, quite a hair heavy vlog, I thought I would show you how I do my hair every night because I get so many questions about my hair. So many questions about my hair. So my shampoo of choice is either the Herbal Essences Argan Oil or the L'Oreal. I've been using the L'Oreal, this combo, the shampoo conditioner for I'd say 15 years, I think. Yeah, something around 15, maybe 20 years. Um, it's the color one, the color protect. I used to think that I had to use shampoo for greasy hair until I realized that my hair gets greasy because it's dry. And therefore, when I started to moisturize my hair, it actually starts to work better and I get longer out of it. So my hair is currently on day, I have my hair done on 
Tuesday and it is now Sunday. So I have not washed my hair since then and it's been totally fine. I haven't even washed my fringe or anything like that. Um, today it's a bit like it's it needs to be washed but like it's not a disaster. So that's it now. I've gotten away with it all day. I've gotten away with it pretty much all day. So I'm going to use that shampoo and conditioner and then I will also sometimes alternate then between the Olaplex treatments so the number five the, the bond maintenance shampoo and number sorry number four the bond maintenance shampoo and number five the bond maintenance conditioner but because I just had a bond treatment done with the Wellaplex there is no need for me to go and have my um, go and try and do that now because I've just done it the last time I washed my hair I will probably use mask on my hair after I shampoo it and I'm going to use the Shea Butter one, this one, if you will focus. This one, the Shea Butter one from the Body Shop, or I would use, where is it? Number eight from the, from Olapex, the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Either of those, and I leave them in for five to 10 minutes while I'm washing my hair. And that's pretty much it. That's how I do it, and then I'll show you what I do afterwards. So I'm going to do that now, I'm gonna have a share. I'm not gonna film me in the chair because we don't need to see that and wash my body and be done. I need to hurry up because I still have to make dinner and it's nearly seven o'clock so I call the days with the child. I think it was a lovely day. Oh it's warm. It is actually warm. Look at this colour though. I'm so glad I went slightly darker. Anyway putting you outside for some privacy. Okie dokie we are out of the shower. I am looking like a little Silky seal. Let's go with silky seal. Hair has been washed up in a towel to dry one thing or just like towel dry. I do not rub my hair with a towel. That is how one gets split ends. We do not want split ends. And then I will always use a tangle teaser, a wet brush, a bell brush, something along those lines. The hair extension ones are so good. Did you see that? Did you see that? That's masks. It's Wallaplex that is taking care of my hair. See the head little how unnaughty my hair is. Amazing. I love my office right now, guys. It's definitely not done. It has artwork to go up, I need shelves, and then we are getting a bed as opposed to this sofa that I've had because my mum needs somewhere to sleep uh, in our house. That's proper for her, so a bed it is. That's fine. It's gonna be single bed and then it can be trundled. There's a trundle bed under it so we can have a bigger one when more people stay, which is great because we can have couples stay and things like that. Anyway, right. Next stage, hello, my name is Cousin It, is to sort my hair out. Let me raise you up a little bit. I look kind of petrifying. So I want to do my split in the back. All right, I need to look in the mirror. I also have a mirror here. Why don't I look in this mirror here? There we go, look at that. God, I look petrifying. So I've just split my hair. Now down this part of it, not split my hair. I just said we don't want split ends. Just taking a normal wide tooth comb and then I'm getting my fringe. Uh, so that is my like bang fringe bit. So I try to use no heat on my hair. And in doing so, I take my fringe, like so. I take two fingers, I'm sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder, and I wrap the hair around, tuck the end in, and then I grab these little, like, roller setting yokes, clips. You can get these in Terry Sales or Amazon, I'll link some down below. No, I'm gonna regret saying I'll link them down below. And that is my fringe. So then I look around, walk around looking like a little bit of a lunatic for the rest of the evening. Now I have my hair. So, a couple of products that I put in my hair. My favorite is the JV, the JVN Air Dry Cream. Um, I use this, it's, I just love this. Um, 
work desired went through any kind of hair adds buildable touchable hold that lets your natural texture shine so this is great for me i kind of use this almost like i need to get another one of these there was 20 percent off from space nk on friday gosh darn it that's annoying um i absolutely love this product now i have dead straight natural hair dead straight like poker straight natural hair but I find that this adds just a bit of texture without being moussey, if that makes sense. I don't like to add too much mousse. Now I'm going to get a new mousse and give it a go and see what it's like, but I'm just gonna work this through. And then what I'm going to do when I work this through is leave it. Now I'm going down to cook dinner. Whew, I'm warm. It's about seven o'clock or something. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa. Alexa, Alexa, she's unplugged. It's embarrassing. Uh, I'm going down to cook dinner. I'm just hiking my leggings up. Does anyone hate putting leggings on after you've moisturized your body? Uh, I am just probably while I'm cooking, just gonna clip it back a little bit, like loosely. And I want it to air dry to about 80, 90%. I want this air dried. Now I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So that might take you longer, whatever. Obviously this is a pinch of salt, it's just what I do. So I'm going to go, if, if I was going to dry my hair, which I'm not, I would use the Tresme Heat Defense or the Voodoo Heat Defense Spray. They're my two favorites at the moment. Actually, the Tresemme one I've used for years, the Voodoo one, I have used one thing of it and I loved it. I just haven't repurchased it and I went to the shop to buy it and they didn't have any. Whew, okay, right, time to go make dinner and I will see you after dinner when I am going to set my hair for bed. Okay, so I'm just about to get ready for bed now. Uh, it's about nine o'clock on Bank Holiday Sunday. So I'm going to put in my heatless curler. This is really washed out. Let's see if I can. A bit better. It's a bit better. It's fine. It'll do. So I've still got my hair in my quiff. I might just take it out and see how it's doing. And I might reset it. So it gets really curly. Hi. I'll show you how I do it in the morning. I'm sorry, I have to be really quiet because Veronica's asleep. He's going to bed. So I'm going to reset it now. It's dry already. And my hair is about 90, 95% dry. On the days where I don't wash it, it's 100% dry. So I just don't want it to be any wetter. I'm splitting it in half. And I need to get a hairbrush from somewhere. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> There we go. I'm taking the same uh, hairbrush that I had earlier. My tangle teaser, and I'm just brushing out any knots. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil, just about one pump, and run it across my hands, and literally just like comb through, really concentrating on the ends to keep them really hydrated and healthy and especially the ends around my face to keep them nice and moisturized. I'm going to take the silky sausage, I'll link this down below, um, I'm using a different clip because the clip that came with it, the book, you can use any clip and I'm shoving in halfway and then I'm going to take the first bit of hair and wrap it around and the next one. And I'm just taking kind of medium sized sections and wrapping it around till it's underneath. Taking the next one. This took me like one go to get it. It's really simple. So just keep going all the way around until you get all the hair. I'm basically kind of doing like an apple pie around your head. I know people use like their bathrobe string, like the rope part, the belt part to do this as well. You're wrapping around, keeping it nice and tight, it's tight into my head as I can. So I have all my hair now. 
and I'm just going to wrap it around until I get to the very end. This bit's important. Last little bit I want it pointing downwards, make sure it's not pointing up. It comes with two silky scrunchies and I just wrap it around. I do four times with this just because the elastic's gone a bit and then it kind of falls out a little bit. Now I'm going to do the other side. This is where most people leave it, and this is where I differ a little bit. So I changed it up and found what worked for me. So a lot of people ask me, is it uncomfortable to sleep in? I don't think so. However, I do two more steps. So I actually take the clip out. I don't feel the need to sleep in it. And then I take these two bits and I join them at the back of my head. And I wrap them in another large scrunchie that I have. Just twice. Just to connect them together. So then it sits kind of like a crown at the back of my head. It also makes you look a little less insane. When I didn't have my fringe, I would wrap. I would start from the middle. Because of my fringe, I don't want it that kind of shape too much. It's not the right shape. So that's why I have it back to give me a lot of volume in the front. And that's it, guys. Now I'm going to bed. I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'll have curly hair. And I'll show you quickly because I'm ending this vlog tomorrow morning. I'm starting a new one tomorrow so good night okay so the last piece it's the next morning now obviously I've taken my hair out of the curls and I have just pinned it back and put it in a bun while I went for my walk so I'm just going to show you now so I haven't actually like done anything with it except take the silky sausage out and this is it so this is my hair all done can you see this So that's the curl. There we go. Hello. And I have my fringe clipped, had it clipped back, and it kind of sits the way I want it to then. If I wanted to, what I would do is go and blow dry it and like do it properly, but I'm really happy with the way it's turned out today. And I think just clipping it back just kind of took the extra bit of curl. So I just clipped it this way just to kind of set it a little bit while I went out for my walk this morning. Just one bit I forgot to say, so this is, I just literally twisted it up and clipped it up. But if I wanted to use a bit of spray, I would use the Way uh, Texturizing Hairspray. I absolutely love this stuff. This is one of my favorite, or the IGK Beach Spray. I'll leave them both linked down below, but that's it. So guys, that's the end of this vlog. I'm actually about to pick up and start another one but I have this planned, so it's a bit different. <laughs> so thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, this last week was my three year anniversary of creating Half of Carla. It's been nuts, so I just wanna say I'm so grateful to all of you for your continued support and for showing up for me as well as showing up for yourself. And I am so grateful, for, honestly, for my hair and what it's done for me over the last couple of years and I'm really grateful for the effort that I put into it to get it to where it is now and I'm so 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 happy with it like I'm really really in love with it and I'm grateful for the sunshine because there is a bit of sunshine and blue sky coming out and we are about to head out to go to the playground and get some coffee and that will all be in next week's vlog so I'll chat to you then love you and leave you and don't forget to show up for yourself guys bye